What's up, everybody? Welcome to week 12 in review. Week 12. Only two weeks left before the playoffs start. Uh, week 12, not a tremendous week in terms of uh, fantasy scoring. Um, game of the week, you know what? There really wasn't a great game this week. Uh, no great comebacks. Um, there were only two players that were even active on Monday night scoring uh, points uh, for what it was worth. Um, and uh, one of those guys obviously didn't even make it through a full quarter. Thank you very much. Uh, so with that said, uh, we'll still have a game of the week. Let's go and we'll give it to the high score of the week, uh, which was uh, the uh, game featuring Pilot Lights versus Mambunga. Pilot Lights win this one 134-88. to Pilot Lights plays four in double digits, including two players with 39 points apiece. Uh, Tom Brady carved up the Lions on Thanksgiving Day. Uh, he had 341 yards passing and four touchdowns, including one for 79 yards. Peyton Hillis was the other 39er. Uh, he had 131 rushing yards, 63 receiving yards, and three touchdowns. Uh, Wes Welker, 21 on 90 yards, uh, uh, including two of those Tom Brady touchdown passes. Uh, LaShawn McCoy had 11. Uh, Mambunga had a big day from his quarterback as well. Uh, Aaron Rodgers uh, led uh, the four and double digits from Mambunga with 30 points on 344 yards passing. Uh, one passing touchdown. He also had 51 rushing yards and a rushing touchdown. Uh, Mike Goodson had 19. Uh, Jennings 13 and Tammy 12. Blow out of the week uh, belongs to Master Killer as they beat Sheboygan Headbangers uh, by 50, 114 to 64. Um, six and double digits for Master Killer, led by 25 from Mendenhall on 151 rushing yards. Uh, also added a score there. Uh, Eli uh, had 21. Um, uh, Lloyd uh, continues to shine. This week he had 19, including two touchdowns. Boss had 13. The Raiders' D and Andre Johnson scored 11 each. Sheboygan had four in double digits, uh, three of those just hitting the 10-point mark. Uh, ben Roethlisberger, Winslow, and the Steelers' D each had 10. Uh, MJD, 13. The win gives Master Killer the inside track in the Stewie division uh, now they are at eight and four. Sheboygan Headbangers dropped to six and six. Uh, so great win for the Chicago Bears. Uh, bad loss for the Sheboygan Headbangers. Um, now really going to need some help to make it into the playoffs. Um, one other team reached 100 mark, uh, 100 point mark. Um, uh, the other team in this matchup almost did. Uh, it was Cats vs Guns uh, vs Monkeys. Final in this one, Cats 112, Monkeys 97. Uh, Cats had a balanced attack with seven players in double digits, uh, all of those within six points of one another. Uh, there was a, the low score of 13, a high score of 19, so everybody chipped in on this one. The 19 belonged to Mike Turner. He had 110 yards rushing and a touchdown. Two of his players had 15 points, Calvin Johnson and Noshawn Moreno. Three had 14, Kitna, Austin, and Akers. And then Heap had 13, including that beautiful 65-yard touchdown catch in his game on Sunday uh, afternoon. Uh, the Monkeys get four in double digits, led by the Jets' D on Thanksgiving. Uh, they had 29 points, including a defensive touchdown. Flacco, 21. Kading keeps the monkey kicking machine going as he drops 20 points in another five-field goal game, one of his for, from 50 uh, for the bonus points. And then he also had... Uh, Three uh, PATs. Uh, Peterson chipped in 12, but he only played, I think, for one quarter before he went out with injury. Um, uh, looks like uh, just a regular ankle sprain. They're saying Peterson should be back. So uh, even though someone got uh, Toby Gerhardt from me, uh, that's all right. Looks like Peterson's going to play anyway. So joke's on you. Uh... Let's see, I think that was Simon, too, who I got to play this week. Nice block, though. Uh, what do we got going on? Um, Cats win. Helps them keep pace with the pilot lights. Both those guys win this week uh, in the Bryan division, both at 7-5. and five. 
Uh, so that was a nice game there. Uh, Simon, he almost had 100 also. He got close, as close as you can count. He tops the Pitons, 99 to 72. Just three in double digits uh, for Simon. But one of those was 41 points from Dwayne Bow. Uh, Bow had 170 receiving yards and three touchdowns. 14 total touchdowns uh, in uh, multiple touchdown games uh, for him. Uh, five, uh, five of his last seven have been multiple touchdown games. He scored a total of 14. Um, he scored 101 points in the last three games. Uh, as Dan Patrick would say, en fuego. Uh, Dwayne Bow on fire. Tolbert, 19 on 103 yards rushing and a touchdown. Peyton Manning, 15. Four INTs for Peyton Manning um, in this one. He's got a total of seven in his last two games. Uh, only had four you know, INTs in his first 10 weeks. So CBS is like, oh my God, he's in the biggest slump of his career. Dude has, or has scored 50 points in the last two weeks. So if that's a slump, I'll take a slump. Let me have that slump. 50 points in two weeks. He's throwing some picks. Big deal. He's still putting points on the fancy board. No big deal. Uh, three in double digits for the Pitons, led by 23 from Arian Foster on 218 total yards. No touchdowns in that one for Foster, though. 20 from Breeze uh, on 352 yards and a touchdown and 10 from uh, Jeremy Macklin. Uh, one of the big games of the week did not uh, live up to the hype. That was the Rockers' loose cannons for Quagmire Supremacy. Uh, the game was played and someone had to win. Uh, it turns out Rockers win 76 to 68. Rockers win their second game in a row without reaching 80 points. Uh, for the Cannons, it was their third worst output of the year. Two of the three worst outputs against the Rockers. Two losses to the Rockers. Uh, but you know what? We play the winning game, right, boys? Uh, three and double digits for the Rockers, led by 27 from Jamal Charles on 173 rushing yards. One touchdown in that one. Carpenter bounced back from last week's uh, zero-point output uh, to put 15 on the board, and the Chiefs' D got 12 points. Uh, Gore had five points in the first five minutes of that Monday night stinker of a game uh, and then went out with a season-ending injury. So after his first two series, I thought, dude, this guy's going to put 50 on the board tonight. Not only does he not put even... 10 points on the board, lost a season-ending injury. Brian Westbrook sighting in this one comes in, runs for over 100 yards for the first time in uh, three years or something like that. Uh, also as a score and went to Chili Dogs on the waiver wire. I put in five waiver wire uh, this week. I got two. <laughs> so what am I going to do? Anyway, so season-ending injury for Gore. Uh, so, Rockers limp to the front of the Quagmire division with a, uh, with a, the best, a tie for the best record in the league at 8-4. Probably the worst 8-4 team that this league has ever seen. Well, we still got two games left. We'll see what happens. Uh, Loose Cannons tied for second in the division now with Super Simon, both at 7-5. and five. Uh, Dog of the Week contains the Dogs for the second time in a row. This time he's on the winning side of the Dog of the Week. 64-54 uh, over T-Dub. Three and double digits for the dog. Schwab, uh, Schaub had uh, 19. Uh, G-Men D had 12. And Holmes had 10 uh, in this one. Only one and double digits for uh, T-Dub. He actually had more uh, players with zeros than he did with double digits. He had two zeros, one and double digits. Um, that one was the 27 points, accounting for half of his points, was the Chargers defense. Half his points come from the Chargers defense. 27 is only double digit. Wow. Okay. Uh, you got uh, 12 of those uh, 27 points were on two pick sixes from uh, the slumping Peyton Manning. Um, so let's see. Let's take a look at the standings. First, the bad news. Last week, we really only, after last week's games, uh, that's week 11 games, we only had one team that was really eliminated from playoff contention. That was T-Dub. Uh, with this past week's games, week 12 games, um, we have upped that to, I, I believe, uh, 
five. Uh, so so uh, let's let's look at this. So uh, T Dub eliminated last week. He was three and two at one point, and then went into uh, just a downward spiral, monumental collapse, losing what is now seven in a row uh, to uh, to be at his ten and two record or whatever it is. Um, so this week, four more have joined the ranks of the eliminated uh, dogs, man bunga knights, the monkeys, and the pitons, all mathematically eliminated from championship bracket. With two games left, as mentioned, Master Killer has the inside track in the Stewie Division crown. He's at 8-4, and four, two games up on Sheboygan Headbangers at 6-6. Six and six. Brian, as always, down to a two-man contest between the Pilot Lights and the Cats, both at 7-5. and five. And they square off this week. Uh, and then uh, we have um, our Quagmire division. Three teams still alive. Vying for the crown the Quagmire. Rockers in first at 8-4. and four. Uh, And then Simon and Loose Cannons. One game back at 7-5. and five. Simon coming on strong. Dumping a lot of points out there. Uh, and they get the Rockers. So, uh, so from that you can figure it out. We've got two huge games this week. Pilot Lights versus Cats with Guns, seven and five teams for the tops in their division. Rockers up against Simon. Rockers with a one game lead uh, going into that uh, Quagmire showdown. Pick them. I don't like when this happens, uh, but I'm certainly not going to take a zero because uh, I already got one and I actually picked games that week. But neither the Cats nor Mambunga Knights picked games this week. Both of them get zeros. Rockers take advantage of the situation. They get five right this week. So now our standings are this. Manbunga first with 43. Rockers right back behind him with 39. Third, Cats with Guns with 36. Two weeks left. If there should be a tie after the two weeks of the regular season, we will roll this into the playoffs uh, in a sudden death type situation. Uh, again, winner take all there. Um... So, uh, that pretty much wraps it up uh, for uh, this week. Uh, man, fantastic finish. Uh, much like the um, regular NFL, uh, no team has uh, clinched their division yet. Uh, and really, uh, no team's really even clinched the playoff spot. Even at 8-4, and four, there are still scenarios out there where I might not make the playoffs. So, uh, no team clinching the playoffs. I should take that back. No. Uh, yeah, I don't think anyone's clinched a playoff spot yet. So, and in the NFL, after week 13, uh, no team uh, clinching any playoff bursts or any uh, divisions in the NFL either. So, uh, very interesting NFL season, very interesting peanut butter jelly time season. We got some great games in the NFL schedule. We got a great uh, Thursday night game tonight. Uh, may not look good on paper, it's the Eagles. And Houston, but there's a lot of fantasy players going in that one. We got a fantastic Monday night game uh, to make up for the terrible Monday night game they gave us this week with the 9 and 2 Patriots uh, going uh, against the 9 and 2 Jets in Foxborough. Uh, a lot of other great uh, Sunday matchups. So hopefully it'll be a great NFL week. Hopefully it'll be a great peanut butter jelly time week. And uh, hopefully some, uh, some of my waiver wire boys will come through for me. So, that's all we got. Take it easy, boys.